Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alki David. This message goes out to the entire spectrum of the entertainment industry, including Comcast, NBC, Fox, and all independent corporations and independent artists. I am the CEO and founder of Film on TV Networks and also an entertainer. I'm very happy to announce that over 100 artists, writers, producers, representing over 1,000 copyrighted works have joined me to finally refile the historic lawsuit against CBS Interactive. This coalition we are calling Artists for Justice includes Dougie Fresh, PM Dawn, Slick Rick, Ron Browse, Sugar Hill Music, Luke Skywalker, Pretty Ricky, H-Town, and many, many more artists. These artists are courageous because despite threats made to them by the enemy, they have come forward out of desperation to save what is left of a shattered entertainment industry. Our lawsuit argues that CBS Interactive maintained an ongoing enterprise of distributing peer-to-peer -peer file sharing software and DRM removal software. DRM removal software by their own admission is in fact illegal. Not only did they generate billions by distributing the software, but provided on their websites detailed reviews and tips on how to use it to induce infringement of known protected intellectual properties, including performances of Lady Gaga, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris, Madonna, and Britney Spears. Ironically, we are demonstrating against CBS Interactive for the same reasons as the folks who are part of the Occupy Wall Street movement, with whom I personally have a great deal of sympathy. Corporate greed, corruption, and hypocrisy by companies so large that no one can stop them is unacceptable. As this lawsuit unfolds, it will highlight lobbyism and monopolistic attitudes at its very, very worst. Let me clarify. LimeWire is just one of the many tools that CBS Interactive knowingly made available, recommended and reviewed that enabled users to steal and share copyrighted materials. CBS Interactive was the single largest distributor of LimeWire in the world. In fact, they were the only distributor of LimeWire in the world, some 350 million copies. LimeWire is responsible for billions upon billions of copywritten thefts. The number is unsurmountable. CBS Interactive did more to further mass infringement than Napster or LimeWire or indeed any of the notorious file sharing softwares could have done by falsely legitimizing and popularizing it to the masses on CBS owned websites. Find this hard to believe? Well, download and read the complaint at justart.net. You will be amazed. Rights holders from around the globe have come forward and contacted us in the past months, representing tens of thousands of intellectual properties. We are currently identifying and verifying ownership of these works and will be announcing more members of the Justice of Artists Coalition in the days and weeks to come. If you are an artist and feel that your work has been stolen or infringed upon by file sharing software, please visit justart.net and contact us immediately. I am livid at the hypocrisy of CBS and what it is doing to try and kill our dreams. In addition to my fight against copyright infringement, I will also be personally seeking additional actions of anti-competitive behavior on the part of CBS. If you would like to join the fight, please visit www.justart.net